<laughs> I got nothing. Well, if you go to the Cumber Museum, you will not see a study on beer goggles there, but you will see art that is always in and out, and you will also meet the new director and CEO. It's my extraordinary pleasure um, and professional privilege to be the director and CEO of the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens in Jacksonville. Um, it's an institution that has really, really captivated me and all of the visitors that come in, um, first-time visitors as well as regular visitors alike. That's the new CEO and director of the Cummer Museum, Andrea Barnwell Brownlee. She speaks on transition from her previous position to her new one. You know, on the surface, it might seem like they're very, very different institutions. Historically black college situated in Atlanta, Georgia, versus um, Jacksonville, a museum that is a museum for the greater, wider community. But that's just on the surface. On the inside, when you really, really start to dig deeper, there are so many similarities. An incredible staff of people that are passionate about what they do incredible works of art that allow us to look at space and time and time periods differently than we've been before. Um, a real, real passion for community. These institutions are linked by a real strong commitment to making sure that they serve their respective communities. One of her first endeavors, launching the Art Ventures Project for Black History Month. We had the opportunity to work in partnership with the Community Foundation to celebrate 30 years of an exceptional prize they've been giving. This particular moment also gave me the opportunity to spend time here live on the King holiday. The King Day celebration was amazing. The galleries were bustling. There was music in the garden. and People had a chance to really spend time in the Art Ventures exhibition. Several of the artists actually came and spent time with the people that were, were visiting. And it was a real, real special moment. One of the things that attracted me about uh, the Cummer Museum is that Black History Month is celebrated all year long. Certainly, this is a time in February where we, we shout out the accomplishments, the histories, and the future of African Americans. But at the Cummer Museum, we also have several works by African Americans on view 365 days a year. So in this gallery alone, there are two works by Augusta Savage and another by William Artis. So you have the rare opportunity to think about creativity from the 30s, from some of the most prominent, extraordinary artists that were working at the height of their careers. So not only was um, the diving boy a part of Nina Cummer's estate that she gifted to the museum, but it's an exceptional, an exceptional work in its own right. But maybe you prefer to get your art connect through virtual means. The Comer has you covered. The Fireside Chat was an amazing privilege that I had. <laughs> I was in conversation with Dr. Janetta V. Cole, who is actually a Jacksonville native. She's also the President Emerita of Spelman College and someone that I call a mentor and a dear friend. So the Fireside Chat was an opportunity for us to come together via Zoom, socially distanced of course, um, in conversation. And the sponsors of this particular conversation were the Alumni Association, Spelman College, the Jacksonville chapter, and of course the Cummer Museum. And we had an opportunity to talk about this moment and what it was like to grow up in Jacksonville. What has Jacksonville become and what was it like for her family to be so integral to the evolution and the history of everything from American Beach to, to Jacksonville proper. You'll definitely want to spend time with Slow Art Wednesdays. On the second Wednesday and the fourth Wednesday, you'll have the opportunity to dive deep into a work of art with our education staff. You'll learn more about topical things, you'll learn more about technique, and you'll spend time just really, really slowing down, plugging out the rest of the world, and spending time with a work of art with our exceptional education team. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. At Slow Art Wednesday will be held tomorrow, and the Cummer will be having one of their final live performances of the season featuring Akia Uwanda playing sets from 5.30 to 8 p.m. You can check out the Cummer virtually, reserve tickets, or find out about their schedule at cummermuseum.org. Eden? Thank you very much.